Okay, back at America Fest, Tom Sudeika. Okay, both you and I, I mean, I met Charlie when he was first starting up out, but you've been with Charlie and on his board from the get-go. Can you believe this? This is phenomenal here. It, it is incredible. What it's he's built in incredible. a decade is amazing. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. For a young man, and I'll tell you what, when I met him, I knew he was somebody special. Because when you meet somebody who is very bright, has great emotional intelligence, and has a center in his faith, it keeps him humble. Because you could see how a young person with this much fame could go off the rails. But Charlie, Charlie has not. He stayed true to his faith. He stayed true to the cause. And the cause is basically America's founding principles, you know. And, and He's so well-spoken. He is. I mean, that doesn't come naturally. That comes when you are actually, have done your own homework. You've studied maybe the founding documents. I mean, he's so well, he's so articulate. He knows what he knows. He, yes, and he's a, he's a voracious reader. Mm -hmm. So he, he takes in a lot of information. And he's able also to keep it all inside and be able to organize it and get it out in a discussion that makes sense. And it's, what's amazing is the attraction that he has brought because there was this void in universities because everything was, everything was going left and going hard left. And here comes a voice you know, of a young man who was gonna go to West Point, um, did not, and then the, the co-founder, Bill Montgomery, that helped him start yes. Turning Point said, Charlie, don't go to college do this and Charlie could very likely have several masters a PhD For sure. just the amount of learning that he's done on his own and getting back to what he's done to the school so these kids see this opportunity and they find emotionally they find a home by saying oh my god I'm being taught these things in school and none of it's sitting right with me and then here's a turning point table and they're like, I'll join, I'll join. And it's spread like wildfire. Uh, colleges, universities, and, and high schools. But, but it's not been easy. Oh, of it's not course been easy. not. This is a very large organization. He fundraises for it. He sets it all up. You've got personnel responsibility. I, I don't think even, Charlie's not even 30 yet. No. And he's what he's put together in in ten years. No, he's a he's a he's a wunderkind. He could he, he is, could be on from our hometown, Crane Chicago business used to do the 30 oh, yes, under thirty, 30, under 30. or the what, forty under okay. forty. But but he is an Illinoisan. I'm sorry, he is an Illinoisan. But even even five years ago, he should have been on some sort of list prior to when he moved to Arizona. Yeah, but you know what? But they we, don't they don't they, they no. don't like that. They don't appreciate his talent. No, no. His work ethic. No, because I think they're they're ideologically blocked from understanding yes. anything. Yes. They are on a. Um, unfortunately, I hate to say it, but I don't think the, the the folks on the left are well. I don't think they're very well in the head, uh, because of the crazy responses we're seeing across media, across yeah. social media, which also adds to the challenges that. These kids at Turning Point get targeted. They get targeted on campuses. We had, we had an arrest in California earlier this year uh, because somebody was a, a, assault and battery. Basically, these kids get intimidated. Um, but you know what? They rise, they smile, and they stand strong. And what's amazing about these events is you meet these young people. And you and I, we have good kids. Yes, we do. Right, mm -hmm. and when pe and we get compliments when people meet them, like, wow, they're you know they're so polite, they're so right. The, now here you come here and you run into nine thousand, so polite, so, so bright, so patriotic, you know, so respectful of elders and others that you leave here feeling very good. Absolutely. And what we've got to do then as supporters is to take that take that message to donors and to uh, any other organizations that can join in this fight because at the end of the day it's not about elevating Charlie to be a TV host on Fox. Right. Sorry Fox people. <laughs>
but it's actually elevating America and bringing the American principles back into our society so that helps elevate everyone. Yeah, so I just had a really good conversation with two up-and-coming conservatives. Actually, they're already in the, the field. They're already on the battlefield. Um, and that was the, the two men that are part of Run Gen Z. So they're a really exciting a group. Uh, I'm sure you've, you're aware of them. I am. I, I have yeah. heard. I yeah, have they're, heard they're, their names. They're terrific. But you know, but for people like Charlie Kirk, would we have Run Gen Z? He's inspired a lot of people with his work. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. I mean, I, I remember over the over the years, the college Republicans, it, they got to be more about loafers, polos, and cigars, and I don't think that was very attractive. <laughs> To many people, right. and now that the left is coming after us from all angles, education, faith, uh, commerce, from you know uh, canceling and all of that, we it raise our awareness, and we now are we we are shall I say forced or not, but we need to unite, and so to have these other brilliant young kids stand up. It's great. Absolutely. Okay, let's talk about another one of your endeavors, and that's Freedom Square. Uh, what is, uh, you know, you started this a couple years ago. About a year uh, and a half ago, uh, okay. we, we embarked on um, building what we wanted to build was a digital commonwealth, a place where we could bring the pro-Americans together in a, in a vast, uh, fast way so we could force, multiply, and accelerate the unification of all of us who want to preserve America. And so... Mid so it's more than just a, a buying spot. It's a oh news my. spot. It's a where you can find your podcast. Podcast. You can get all your re recent news articles in one click. Research. research. We've got tremendous research out there right okay. now. We're going to be adding uh, openthebooks.com, who oh, you know very well. Oh, Adam and GF's What paper. a phenomenal tool. It's just amazing. Um, where you can actually go in, put in a zip code, and you can see what teachers are making in terms of salaries or right. pensions. I remember my friend Chuck, when I introduced him to Adam in the app, and he looked up on it to see his professor from U of I, and he's like, what the bleep? This guy shows up two hours a week, and he's making this kind of money, and then his pension's going to be, within three years, it'll be the same, just because the way our, our uh, stuff is set up. So, so what are all, the what are the all the categories of things that you can get at Freedom Square? So Freedom Square, is, we are right now on the cusp of launch. Okay. So if you go there now, go to freedomsquare.com, you can register with an email. We're going to send you notifications. But we are building a business network okay. where pro-American businesses, you can reach out to them, connect with them directly, do business with them. I've already bought insurance, a painting, six t-shirts. A hat, a bracelet. I mean, I'm using our, and it's so great to connect with these people and to even call them and say, hi, I saw you on Freedom Square and I just wanted to say, thanks, Patriot. Um, so, yes, there's the business, there's the news, there's the uh, podcasts, uh, the research, and we're also um, getting ready to uh, launch a, a sort of the, the, the square of it where we're going to have full engagement um, of all of our oh, all of our yeah. users, and it's going to be a very unique type of platform because it's, for example, <clears throat> we also want to be the we want to be the landscape for the parallel economy. So yes, yes, rum, you got Rumble that's so competing against people, right. Some people talk about give your second dollar, right? So if maybe your first dollar goes to a candidate, you give your second dollar to an organization or a, a company that supports your candidates' views right. and values, right? Isn't that what Freedom um, Square is about? We have got to um, be spending money with each other. Right. I remember right. you've been a client of mine for a number of yes, years. Yes, I have. I'm a client. And we've sp spoken, this is on the payroll side of things, but we've spoken about like sort of the, the cruel attempts to diminish and marginalize businesses that have got basically traditional values. So what I ended up doing about 10 years ago, I started going through my P&L and I started going through my vendors and I had my team research what out there in social media are they like? And anybody that was, I found, offensive to the American dream, we would replace. And so that's what we've been doing. 
But now there is a tremendous push to get all of these items replaced, even in education, school pods and things like yes. that. Yes. So we want to be, we want to be the environment where you can come to and you can find an energy company, perhaps a school pod in your area, or perhaps a great um, clinical care that's going to be outside of the realm of the the Mengele uh, operation here with this pandemic and vax. Um, Yes, absolutely. So again, it's gonna it, it, it's sort of a. So you're a doing wider. all the research for people, so they don't have to worry about it. You, when if they go there and they're buying from somebody who's associated or marketing on Freedom Square, they can be assured that that company absolutely. has been vetted as a conservative company that believes in the American dream. Still. Yes, and we've had situations we know, and I don't want to mention names, but we know sure. of two very well known. C3 nonprofits that got very greedy and unfortunately they damaged their reputation and it took years to recover and that something like that happens we want to make people aware of that sure and make a decision as to whether you keep going so yes not only do we vet our our sources our partners our contributors we also monitor them and again it becomes a community where we hold each other accountable Terrific. Because the, the goal is to force multiply, accelerate the unification, join forces, and win, and yep. get America back. So even if, even if people are like you and I, we're still in Illinois, we're still Illinois residents, it doesn't matter. We can still, we can still coordinate, listen to, talk with, do business with Absolutely. conservative organizations. Well, and... <clears throat> we probably met over the years because of my advertising on Salem and yes, on AM definitely. 560. Mm -hmm. And I began that mission of trying to work with conservatives 15 years ago. Because I'm like, I would rather give my money to them than to give it to PayPal, for example, who is probably the second largest private donor of Planned Parenthood. You know, and, and you think about, yep. just stop and think for like 30 seconds, like, okay, the federal government gives about 500 to 550 million a year to Planned Parenthood <clears throat> for health care. <coughs> Excuse me. And they end up using between 90 and 120 million. The numbers vary in terms of what they give back to the Democrats. It's basically just a, a, a cash it's machine that they've created. But they do that. And then Chuck Schumer, of course, defends it to the hilt. Yet he comes out and he'll he'll talk on the, the capital steps about our population is shrinking. We need more people. Right. It's like, well, you're freaking paying people to kill people, what, uh, kill babies. What? I mean, and nobody calls them out on it. Everybody, just, everybody moves along like we're in this alternative reality game that the left has put in place. But I, for one, I know you also, we reject the hell out of it. Absolutely. No quarter. Absolutely. No quarter for the uh, for those coming after. Nope. Us. Nope. All right. Well, hey, thanks a lot for joining us on the Real Story with Jeannie Ives. I appreciate it. Thanks so much um, for yeah, having me. Great to see okay, you here. Okay, you too. Take care. Cheers. I'm Sadeka.